try to make this as simple and as to the point as possible. Um, there's a lot of friction between blacks and Mexicans right now. Um, it's not just because of the gangs, it's because in prisons they're supposed to be at war. Um, there's a reply that someone did to this video. Um, the other guy did a reply and he says a lot of this is regional. Um, my experience here in California, it's a lot different than that because I am in pretty much California, Texas, um, San Diego. I mean, well, San Diego's more California, but all up and down, you know, the border. Um, this is the deal. This is what's happening. Um, a lot of uh, quote unquote Mexican people don't like black people for several reasons. Um, the Mexican president made some statements not too long ago. That offended a few black people. The fact of the matter is, our struggle and their struggles pretty much mirror each other. They are slaves right now. And a lot of these quote unquote Mexicans come here green. I call them green. I like this letter. Cover. See, my color is fucked up on my other ships. So we call them green. And when you're green, you're subject to manipulation. There's several movies that are out about this situation. How you come here, they'll give you a job, they'll give you housing, but you end up having to work that off. The thing is this, they have uh, Nathaniels and Serranos here, Crips and Bloods, yada, yada, yada. Um, but what I'm trying to say is this, a lot of people, uh, Hispanics as you call them, or Mexicans as you call them, are born here. The ones that are born here don't necessarily like the ones that are coming here. The ones that are coming here, a lot of them definitely don't like the ones that were born here. They don't like the ones that were born here for various reasons. The fact that they can walk between both worlds. In other words, they can come here, get their shit, and they can go back there and enjoy it. Um, a lot of the people in Mexico are being held down by their government. In other words, um, if you got some money or something, some land or some property, you're doing good. If you have links here in America and you have property there and whatever, you're doing better than good. And those ones who don't have the money there, who don't like the ones here, who come here to make a better life for themselves, they feel some resent from the ones that are here. In other words, there's enough of us here already, we don't need you they get that attitude from some of the ones that are here and a lot of people here sponsor their family members they they bring their family here to help them out and the thing is with some of these folks that the haters that hate the quote unquote green Mexicans they hate on them for several reasons in other words some some people get paid ten fifteen dollars an hour under the table but you figure Ten, fifteen dollars under a table. You're living in a society where you don't know too much of nothing. Half the people around you try to stick drugs on you or fuck you over in some kind of way. You're always being lied to by somebody or someone, and you're alone. Yes, you're alone in a country where you don't know much. So these people are manipulated. You know, like I said, in Texas they have these work farms or whatever I've heard of, where you show up, they give you a place to live, and you have to work. So say, you know, you just show up in America and you're getting ten dollars an hour. Cash. Your rent's six hundred dollars a month. Okay. And, you know, the food you eat, you gotta pay for that. And all everything, even down to the beer. Hey, you want a twelve pack of beer? Yeah. Forty dollars. These people are slaves. And that's the bottom line. That that's where I feel about it. They're slaves. And the thing is, they're being slaved out right in front of everybody, and everyone sees it. Um, there's different programs for people. In other words, uh, say I come here, I can get a program to become a contractor. Once I get my contractor's license, all I can do, got to go do is bid on these jobs. Bring in a bunch of green people, because I, I learned for the last four years, five years, how to, how to manipulate the system. And I'll bring in a bunch of green people, and boom, slaves. You will call up somebody, and they will send them to you. These mail order slaves. You pay them minimum or less, no insurance, no health, no nothing, with the opportunity. 
And a lot of these people work their way out of that shit and become, you know, good citizens. But you have to understand in the times that we're living in right now, there's no tolerance for that. A lot of people see that and get pissed off, but they don't say anything. I call it slavery. You know, the black people were slaves. You know, and the thing is with slavery, you know, in America being founded on slavery, they just find new slaves to bring in. So once all these so-called Hispanics or Mexicans are empowered, then what's going to happen? Well, we'll get some slaves from someplace else. That's exactly how America works. So, um, you know, rather I touched on anything because I could barely hear you on your video. And, you know, man, like I said, times are getting hard. And the only reason you got haters on Mexicans is because that's what you see a lot of Mexican people. Once you see a lot of Mexicans or whatever, that's what people hate. They hate because they see too many of one group of people. When I went to Oakland, if you watched the video, Hood Report, when I went down to the Bay Area to check out shit, I knew it was bad when I left that motherfucker. When I left the hood, I knew it was bad. But I didn't think it was going to be so saturated with ignorance that it was stupid. And, you know, like the one dude said on his videos, brothers is going to dreads now so they can get more in touch with their so-called roots. Let me tell you about these Jerfakins. That's what I call them, Jerfakins. Motherfuckers born in California, all over the United States and shit, want to wear dreadlocks because you've seen a couple of Jamaicans in some movies doing it, or you see a few Jamaicans doing it, or you think it looks cool. Please. I hate to see black people trends and trends. We set trends. We don't follow them. We make things the way they are. We don't allow things to be the way it could be. See what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't know if that made enough sense for anybody out there, but, um, yeah. You see one dude with something, and he thinks he looks cool, and if he hits TV with that shit, I know everybody want to do it. Now, if these NFL football players and shit start dying, they dreads blonde, then you're going to see a bunch of niggas out there with blonde dreads, or red dreads, or green dreads, or purple dreads. All I know is this. When old people cease to exist in any community, chaos erupts. We have a large Hispanic population and if we start looking at the average age of these kids, these young people, we are headed for a bunch of bullshit. Um, they're fighting each other. We are fighting each other. Um, the young white people now are beginning to start fighting with each other. So um, the thing is this, it's not about blacks, Mexicans, and the cost of illegal immigration. Because everything we do in America costs something. It costs somebody something. You know, all this damn Iraqi war shit, all that shit, we, money we're sending over there could be used here. And then you wouldn't even see any damn uh, illegal immigrants. You know, so it's perception. We're being fooled to believe something. We're being pushed to dislike a group of people. And it's perception. And black people hate black people. Mexican hate Mexicans. Whites hate whites. It's perception. So once we get past what we look like, once we get past what they don't speak like or what we don't speak like, once we get past all this bullshit, then we'll understand that we're just people. And, you know, it's like I said, it's like the better way to understand people is ask them a fucking question. Ask the question, what are you doing? Why? Ask that question, and then we can fix all this. Um, illegal anything is bad for me. Um, I truly believe that if people from other countries come here illegally, that they should be bound by the laws of their, you know, their um, country of origin. In other words, I'm an American. I should go fuck up over in somebody else's country so they can treat me like, you know, Americans treat people who fuck up, who come here. Um, I would love to go to Venezuela and get a job or some shit like that and, and fuck up and, you know, they send me someplace and then they send me home. But um, no one should stand alone for any reason. But no one should have to pay for what another country should have to pay. Um, we're getting bills and we should pass them. You've been tubed. Thank you. Good night.